Well, hello there, wonderful people. Well, in the interest of time, because we've only got 30 minutes today and we're doing three pause for you, there isn't going to be an intro and an outro. Instead, let me tell you here that this is the Fluid Art Experience. Tickets are now available July the 21st, 22nd, 23rd. And the show pony and I are pouring today in honour of and for Jeremy's physical therapy team. A team of people that have been helping him recuperate from his shoulder injuries. So that's what we're pouring for today. We'll uh, come back to you at the very end. After us, we've got the wonderful Gina DeLuca. And then it's Mina. What a wonderful day. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here and I'm super excited about today's pour. I just love, love, love what's happening today. Oh, do you really? I do, yes. And are you excited? I am, what I'm surprise, very excited. Surprise, Yeah. So can I do a little bit of a backstory? Sure. You've just come back from physical therapy. Yes. And you said to me... That I think that they need art on their walls. That's exactly what you said. Yes. Okay. So, so this... they've been so good to me, you guys, and so... I just wanted to do something really nice for them and paint them a piece for, for their office. I love so, that story. Yeah. I so. mean, listen, doctors and all you know, PTs and dentists, their walls are usually so blooming bland. Yeah. So what? A, what? A, I love that. I think that's a very cool way of saying thank you. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing a wrecked ring today. Okay. With this, um, the colors that I chose. This is a 24 inch by 24 inch canvas. It's a big one. It is a big canvas. The colors that I chose are 24 karat. Uh, Deco Arts Metallics Gold. Love it. I got Pearl Pastel Green by Arteza. Okay. I have Iridescent White by Liquitex Basics. Okay. I have Burnt Sienna by Liquitex Ooh, Basics. That's an interesting choice. Yeah. Like it. Yeah. I have Turquoise Phalo, probably one of my absolute most favorite paints. Oh, I see that you opened up the Turquoise Phalo. I mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. I okay. did. And then I have Alizarin. Crimson hue. Okay, so say lizard. Lizard. Okay, and then so it's a ah, lizarin. A uh, lizarin. Crimson. Crimson. Yes, yeah, so say a lizarin. <laughs> a lizarin crimson there hue. You there you yes, go. Yes, by Liquitex Basics. I had to break it up for So, you. some delicious colors. Now, I already went ahead and I flooded my, uh, my canvas already. I was uh, a little excited and jumped the gun on that, but it's all ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and start layering my cup. How much paint do you need on this canvas? I know you have worked it out. Yes, um, I did work it out. It was a right around 24 ounces of paint. Okay, perfect. All right, let's start layering my cup. Your jug. My jug. Now don't forget, where you layer it is gonna be where you're going to pour it out of. Yes. So you're gonna pour it out the side, you're gonna pour it out the spout. I'm gonna pour it out the side. Okay, go for it. Now I'm doing an extreme close up because it is a murky looking jug. Yes, it is. So I'm going to get you guys a top view of this layering for today. Everyone at home, remember that whatever you put in first is going to be whatever's going to come out last. Yes. So Jeremy's going in with some white, some phalo, and then some burnt I know. sienna. Burnt sienna. I think I'm going to go with the Alizarin oh, next. Oh, wow, you said it right. Well then I'm going to go on with some gold. Gold! Being very careful with that gold. Now some white. Now the reason why we've got this murky jug is because Jeremy did work out that this canvas can hold about 24-25 ounces of paint. Yes. That was by taking the length and the width, multiplying it by 28. Sorry, divided by 28, divided by 28. Yes. And this jug can hold 32 ounces. So he's gonna get fairly close to the top on this one.
effect. Delicious. Okay guys, so I have my deliciously layered cup and I'm gonna go ahead and start this ring pour. Little bit of a dismount problem. Do you want to fix that with a skewer? Is it fixable or are you just going to like do it with the stick when you it actually it? It, it's not bad if you come and look at it. It's not bad. But well, you're going to wreck it anyway, right? Yes, I am going to wreck it. All right, so I have my Sarah Mac chopstick here. Your Sarah Mac chopstick indeed. I believe yes. that there is soon to be a smack stick, <laughs> which I'm very excited about. And I've already put an order in for a thousand of them. Oh, nice. Okay, here we go. I'm ready to wreck this. Perfect. So it wasn't overly wrecked. That's no. perfect. That looks lovely. Thank you. All right, guys, you know what time it is. I do not know actually what time it is. It is tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out. <laughs>
Okay guys, so I like the composition on here. The movement and everything's really great. I think I have too much gold right here. I love the red going through here. I love like what's happening with the greens and everything all right here. But this part just has me perplexed. So I went ahead and layered another cup and I'm going to put it right here. Go for it, show pony. Yes. Will you be also rocking it? I will be. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Tilting time 2.0. Tilting time 2.0. Let's see here. Okay guys, I'm loving this. Love it. I'm really, really loving this. I'm loving the colors, the whole movement. I love what happened right here, all of this. I'm loving that red. Yeah, 
I, I can't wait to see what this is gonna look like dry. It's just, it's, I, I think it's beautiful. I, I like it. I like the alizarin that's come up in some of the lines in the wrecked ring, and then I like the umber and the blue that you've got in the corner. Yeah. I, I really do very much like this. Yeah, it really shines through here. Yeah, like pretty. It, yeah, pretty, pretty, it's just pretty. so pretty. All right, I'm gonna take you guys in for a close up, get my edges, and torch it off one more time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ladles and jelly spoons. It's Lee at the table. Yes. Jeremy, I love, love, love your two cup wrecked ring that you well, did. Thank you. Yeah, and it's just drying so beautifully. I love those like dark and kind of stormy colours for some reason. It kind of reminds me of like stormy seas. You're, the reason why you painted that 20 by 20 was because those physical therapists at that wonderful location have like really treated you really well. Yes. And I thought that was a really beautiful thing that you did. Um, it was a 24 by 24 actually. Well, yeah. I've got an 11 by 14 and a 12 by 16. And what I want to do is two smaller pieces for them that are going to go alongside your 24 by 24. Cute. So some sister pieces to the big bad boy. Yeah. And what I thought I would do and the main reason why I thought about doing this, by the way, is because I couldn't decide what technique because these colours are so amazing. What I am going to do is I'm going to do a three cup flip cup on this one Cute. and then a straight pour on this one. And then you've done a rec ring. So they've got three different styles using the same colours and it would just be cohesive in that way. And yeah. I was excited about doing something for them too because nice. you're my love and they looked after you. Aww. So that is the plan. I'm using exactly the same colours as the show pony. This is a 10 ounce cup that I'll be doing a straight pour. This is going to be layered. And then these are three cups here that are going to be dirty poured for the flip. Got it. All right, that is my plan. Now I'm gonna do the dirty pour first because I can kind of just do that one for these wonderful ladles and jelly spoons at home. So in each of these wonderful cups, I'm gonna pour the metallics and the pearls. So I've got gold in one, I've got pistachio in the other, and then this is white. But I am gonna make sure that there is a little bit of each of these colors in all these cups. All right, so that's my dirty layered cups for my flip cups. I'm going to layer this one right here because this is gonna be my straight pour. So um, I'm gonna do what you did, Show Pony. You put a little layer of white in. I'm gonna put a little layer of gold and then you went in with the turquoise. Mm -hmm. So to kind of keep it a little similar, I'm gonna do the same. And then I'm just gonna layer kind of in between the lights and the darks using these wonderful pearls and the gold as separation layers. So that is my cups layered for these pores. I'm going to do a flow, sorry, a base coat on this one okay. and a flow extender on this one. Got it. And I'll explain what the difference between those two is very shortly. All right, first things first, let's get the base coat down on this canvas. Now this is called a base coat because it is going to completely cover this canvas all the way around and I'm gonna flip the cups right on top of this. What is the point of a base coat? Well, the base coat is going to allow everything that comes out of the flip cups 
to slip and slide all over this raw stretched canvas. It's not essential to put this base coat down on this canvas, but what would happen is the layers of paint and the colors contained within those pots would just roll over each other. And so you would lose some of the wonderful composition that you get as a result of flipping these cups on this canvas. So this is essential for me to help me to allow to keep as much of this wonderfulness on here as possible. Now, what is this color? This is actually a concoction of mainly table scraps. So you yeah. can see that we've got plastic down here on the table. Well, once we've finished every single pour, what we then do is scrape up everything and put it into buckets. And this bucket just happened to be this really wonderful kind of like purpley color. All right, so now I've got this base coat down. Now you know what a base coat is. Next, let's flip these cups onto the canvas. Awesome. Now I wanted to keep them fairly central for a reason. I didn't necessarily want any of that purple negative space coming up in between the cups. So at least if I put the cups together as I then flip them over, I'm gonna be able to cover up that base coat because my base coat there isn't for me to see, it really is just to help me get these paints on the canvas. Next show pony, let's straight pour this one right here. Now the straight pour is just that. I'm not gonna wring the cup as the paint comes out. I'm just gonna go up and down, varying the height of the cup from the canvas. That's gonna help me get different compositions. possibly my worst dismount ever off a straight pour. I literally just dragged that all the way through, <laughs> but we can fix it with this skewer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just incorporate yeah. that crazy line right within the composition. All right, now this time, whereas this was the base coat, this is gonna be a flow extender. And why is this called a flow extender? Well, it's a called a flow extender because it's gonna allow me to extend my flow. The point of it is exactly the same. This is gonna help me stretch out the wonderful colors within the composition that I've just laid down onto this canvas. But instead of putting it all over the canvas, I'm now just gonna, I'm just gonna go around the piece that I've already poured. So I've got my straight pour poured. Next, let's flip these cups. And now I'm gonna lip it. Now lipping it on a flip cup basically means taking the lip of the cup and pouring it through the composition in order to create some kind of interest. So let's do that next. Nice. All right, show pony. I got two tilting times to do here. Yes. I'm gonna tilt this one out first, because okay. I'm kind of losing it off the edge of my composition. Sure. So everyone at home, you know what time it is. It is tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out.
So straight pour has been done. Let's move her over just a tad ski. Because I didn't mind dripping on the flip cup, but now I don't want to drip on the straight pour. Yeah. So next to this one, so same colours, but just look at how different the compositions are. Oh my god. Let's tilt this one out. Show Pony, it's tilting time 2.0. It is tilting time. Let's do this. Let's tilt this bad boy out. So there we have it, folks. Um, I love this ring pour. The Elizarin Crimson Jeremy that you picked, stunning. I love it. This one is very similar to your piece, but clearly it's smaller. I like the kind of the fiery fingers of the crimson in there. Yeah, that straight pour was great. Thank you, baby. But I love this. Wow, yeah. this, it's so rich looking. It's kind of, you know, so regal to me, but that's the turquoise and the crimson together with the pops of gold. And yeah, I really love these. I'm so happy that these came out the way they did because, you know, like I said, we've got a lot to be thankful for, for all these wonderful people at this fantastic location, putting the show pony back together again. So I'm really pleased that these guys are gonna go to them. I'm gonna get my edges and then we'll take you in for a close up. Awesome. Let's do it. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. There you have it indeed. Chaponi, did you like them? I love them. I thought it was, they are so beautiful. They really are, all three of them. I, I think that we poured these with love and that's definitely evident in the pieces for me. So um, next up, we've got Gina DeLuca. Gina DeLuca. Absolutely. And then after Gina, we got Mina. Mina. It's the Massey Gina Mina train it this is, morning. It choo, is, choo, all aboard. So please, don't forget to stick around and see those guys. If you're looking for the Acrylic Pouring and Fluid Art Facebook Group Challenge, here it is. We wanna see some flip cups. And the only stipulation is that you guys need to include gold and white. Yes. So any color scheme that you want, but put gold and white in there for us too. We'll post this coming Friday on the group to you to, for you to be able to post your pictures. And then we'll do some voting on Saturday. Awesome. But until then, have a great week, guys. Have a great weekend, guys. And we'll see you back here on Tuesday for another wonderful pour. All right. Bye. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.